21. What was yours again? 18, Michael? And that's with all your bonuses? Uh, you see Leroy the tra giant transgender barmaid. Uh, shit, I gotta send it on this one. Um, Oh, absolute chaos. Oh yeah, I forgot you did that one. Is that a dead body? I don't know why I like the, I don't know why, but I really like the way I phrased that last message. Yeah. Also, everyone perception check. <laughs> I keep waiting for someone to notice what's going on. I just keep pushing these. Finally! Uh. Uh, Zuva needs to roll a uh, con save, constitution save. Alright, now I must message Jewel, because this is about to get fun. That reminds me, uh, you made that 20 on perception, right? Your quivers are back on your back with its arrows inside. <laughs> they were not. They just weren't. It wasn't, there was no trick there, they just weren't. Communication! Uh, exactly.
speaking of uh, witch bolting, uh, because you did you what was your Constitution save again? Ooh, yeah, you definitely saved. Uh, unfortunately, you still take two damage and breaks your concentration on Witch Bolt. And I believe uh, that is the last of your Witch Bolts, my friend. I don't even know what this would be. This is a... Will used to be associated with wisdom, right? Yeah, yeah. Boop. Look, man, they don't use it in any of the text in 5e. Just stupid. I love this troop. Simple question, simple answer, yes. Uh, which, 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 I, I assume you're going back towards the entrance, Diffy, or? All right. Gotcha. I mean, there's, there's a door over there. Donnie's it. <laughs> they, they can do full resurrection, technically. High level ones. Which technically Janorak is. And I mean, he owes you a favor now. Kinda. But yeah, but we, we did the whole thing with uh, figuring out that Zarathos is a piece of shit and dead. Probably. You could guess that. He didn't know that. It's like me. I, I know that my brother stole my cookie, but I can't prove it. And that's the difference. You guys are can prove it now, kind of. Good job, Scooby-Doo Mystery Gang. He got stabbed through the throat. It's probably pretty quick. You ever been stabbed through the throat? If you hit the spine, it's all over. I'm just saying, man. If you hit that spine, it's donezo.
That's up to you. I... D100 per millimeters. Woo! Uh, I'm pretty sure you got most of the way through with an 82. If if 100 is decapitation. That's all good. <laughs> I mean, he won't, but, you know, he's a dragon. Just a little. That's a dragon. That's like saying it's. That's a different dragon. I, I love that nobody. There were so many hints and so many things people forgot this time. I just gotta stop for a second. Did anyone stop and ask the question that we ended the last session with? How the fuck did Leroy get healed if Janarak was Toral? Or if uh, Zarathos was Toral? Nobody questioned that again. <laughs> and that's why Wedge's bow kept disappearing. <laughs> you guys have been up for a long time. At this point, you probably have a level of exhaustion. <laughs> Fair. I have been rested. That's right. You were, you were kept constantly at rest. <laughs> That's how you got that witch bowl back. Alrighty. Uh, I assume we're heading downwards. Yeah. Alrighty. Donnie's like, wait for me. I mean, Clarence. I'm a duck, my travel speed is like 20 feet. <laughs> He's like, I miss being a dragon. I mean, you could. That's up to you. Is a good run. Uh, Leroy is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be honest. You guys are running, but you you can tell just kind of that uh, by the noise that Leroy has not moved an inch and is just laughing at you still. Just cackling maniacally. All right, and we got two over here. Could. Um, she moved off to the side. Give me a second and I will reveal what's going down over there. So, pretty much. Oh, apparently, I accidentally went polygon. God damn it. There we go. And oh, where did the character go? Did I get rid of it? Oh, I think Florence got rid of it. Give me a second. Doop. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, she is. They are. And I need to do one thing. Boop. 
Yeah, you can. Yeah, I mean, he's got her in her arms. Still the body, you know. Still blood dripping out of it. Indeed. Yeah, you can try to intuition it. Uh, so, I mean, it just looks like Florence, yo. He needs to make a roll. I mean, he was kind of doing it before. Yeah, that, that's right. No, this is this is coming from this Florence right here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. Did Michael do a perception check on Florence? Share show can too if they'd like. Okay, uh, looks like Florence. I mean, just like Florence. The one that spoke looks just like Florence. And the one that you're carrying looks just like Florence. But with a hole in her neck. Nope. <laughs> I've been waiting for anyone to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't like, you know, bother him, you know. <laughs> 
He... Roll perception. That's going to be a very common theme from now until the end of the game. I would hotkey it if I were you, if you have it on macro on the line. If not, I'd keep those perception stats close. No. Yeah, they're just regular glasses. The illusion is broken. I know, I gave you such a cool item and then I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, it was, sorry. Do I even want? <laughs> I love it because no one knows what to do here. <laughs> okay, so you're stepping away. Uh, what was the perception check you got again? Sorry. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, uh. I don't know what you're talking about. You guys came down in here. You've been acting really crazy ever since you set foot on the floor. Yeah. Nineteen. So, uh, insightfully speaking, you this guy looks like Zarathos again, but you can tell this is absolutely not Zarathos. You're not sure who it is, though. At which point, uh, Clarence finally speaks up, and he's like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" You're not going to believe this, but... No, it's not. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but he seems really familiar. Hey! Hey, dude. Have you ever killed a mammoth before? That's a really good question! Have I killed a mammoth before? I'm not gonna lie, I've been down here tripping balls for like three hours. This floor is the shit. He just like puts his hand on the ground and just like convulses for a second. Oh yeah. I don't know, we could ask this chick. She just showed up out of nowhere. Huh. Huh. Twins? And twins! Alright, go ahead, sorry.
<laughs> he said tempted. He didn't say he was doing it. He said he was tempted. I figured. I mean, I thought you were just gonna like straight attack again, but. You could do an insight check for that, yeah. Something seems wrong, but... Yeah, the, I, the, it's just the 18's not quite there for it. I, I would have regularly, but you guys be smashing out like 22's on the regular, so I had to up my numbers. Sometimes you do. Uh, you also get a double chance with uh, Ursul. There's there's a there's a crit there. There's a 24. There's a the tw let me go about 22. Should I go on? Yeah, no, I don't think he is. Are you Zarathos? Who the f is Zarathos? Alrighty, uh, uh, you're you're gonna need to roll an attack roll. <laughs> oh, thank God I remember to record. What's up, nerd? I see, you got one of the juices. <laughs> uh, unarmed. Yeah, so it's. Yeah. Should be good. Alrighty. Uh, so you punch him in the face and he falls on the ground. Give me a moment. Before you see a, uh, a strong man, a man who appears to be a fighter of many years, he uh, he has a small scar on his left ear uh, from a mammoth fight. <laughs> he also has uh, some very interesting uh, bracers on his leg. They seem to be made out of a mimic. <laughs> It's, it, it wasn't your mimic, it was the other mimic we killed. Uh, that would be a roll right there, a D100. No, no he doesn't. Un but, no he doesn't. But Donnie remembers him. I mean, Clarence remembers him. After being able to see, after being able to see him. Uh, he says, holy shit! Is that Catharis? Catharis Thispliss? You son of a bitch! I haven't seen you in ages. Oh hey, what's up, Donnie? Who the fuck is Donnie? Hey, what's up? Ah. Uh... Yeah, no, uh, I'm not really the healing kind of guy. I'm more of the stab, stab, die kind of guy. Also once had a healing potion, but it didn't heal me. It hurt me, so I guess it was a hurting potion. But on the bright side, on the bright side, the last train I was on was a wonderful ride. Tell it all caught fire. Everywhere I go catches fire. <laughs> hey, 
Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, there's like a stairway over here behind me. And everyone make a perception roll. Anybody over a 10 uh, hears somehow, well, you weren't paying attention and you were talking to Clarence and Florence and all the inses and this new asshole, uh, uh, the cackling is suddenly like immediately behind you. And you turn slightly and, sorry, one more thing, uh, Leroy the transgender barmaid. Yes, and uh, for those who... Actually, I don't think anyone got big enough, so it just looks like a barmaid right now. Oh, it, yeah, no, 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 high enough. The, the stipulation for uh, these, and I can tell you in the future, because it's going to be quite often, uh, is 20. Not a nat 20, just a 20. Nat 20 gives you something else. Was it a nat 20? Ooh. Oh, sweet! I rolled a one! Um, the walls begin to melt. Not into, like, blood, just, like, physically melt into puddles. And the room starts to turn into liquid. But... Leroy, the transgender barmaid, starts to turn into glass and grow spikes in every direction, but still laughing somehow. Ah, oh, you guys are free to do it if you want. Roll, roll your, roll your insight. Oh shit! Wrong person. Whoops! Ignore that. Ignore that. There we go. Oh, nowhere. Alright, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you don't believe her. Uh, your fingers bounce back. <laughs> I, yes. Uh, I'm not sure how that would be distinguishable, but yeah, sure. I'm. Yeah, it feels like, you know, face. For, I mean, I don't know if you felt Florence's face, but, you know, yeah, sure. Seems like it. Uh, cold, clammy. Go ahead, uh, make your attack roll, I guess. That's a hit.
You mean the upside down? No, I'm just kidding. We don't s No, I mean, Florence seems to be all there. Hey. Yeah, yeah, there's a bruise. Perception, I guess. I know, I know, I know you're getting here, sick of hearing it. Trust me, I know. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. You just have no. Yeah, it's a good thing you haven't been doing that much. Except, except for the attempted uh, killing of Michael, but that was totally in character. So. This is also true. And electrified. <laughs> Who the f is Florence? Uh, you see it stab. It seems like a real corpse. The It bleeds just not that much, because obviously it's been a little time and the body is not fresh. So, I mean, it bleeds a little bit, just not like a fresh body. Um, yeah. That sounds like a plan. Uh, at, which, by the way, Leroy the gen, just in case anyone was curious at this point, Leroy the transgender barmaid's glass form is now spinning in high revolution as well, screeching a high pitched noise and glowing in several different colors. Uh, cut, cut. Catharsis is like, Catharsis, Catharsis just looks until Donnie kind of like pulls at his hem of his sleeve. He's just like, all right. And uh, basically, as you exit the door, there is a blinding flash of light that may sound familiar from two episodes ago. Fortunately for you, for whatever reason, this time it doesn't seem like you have to roll a d8. There may have been incorrupt, incorrect assumptions made, but they weren't. Uh, they weren't for no reason, though. <laughs> no, it's just they were, you know, wrong. But it wasn't totally unfounded. I was so happy too, because I was like, I just know that all this secret shit in the side, because of it, somebody's gonna catch some trouble. And that was the entire point. I literally had two or three people set against each other at the beginning of the campaign. You had Michael and Diffie, who are both not against each other necessarily, but Diffie is against Michael. Michael has his own separate set of motivations that are, you know, his own. But a set, let's, let's just say that his goals conflict heavily with the goals that Florence is trying to achieve. 
not in the way that they once again directly have to fight each other, just in the way that they kind of like cross over. <laughs> it's very hilarious. Uh, what was another one? Uh, actually, Gunter is a big part of that. It, I wish he was around sometimes a little more because we could use him as a prop a bit more. And he was a bigger part of the story at the start, but he, he served his purpose well, so it's fine. Having said that, uh, yeah, you're going to have to put him on here, because he was stealthing in before this all happened. Uh, and you all basically flash out at the same time-ish kind of thing. Uh, you notice that uh, it seems like no time has passed since you went inside. Yeah, I mean it's currently like it's currently like five in the morning. <laughs> Just letting you know. All right, so we're going to Janarak. <laughs> I mean, who says she didn't already? No, just kidding. Um. Bad sacrifice. <laughs> All right, we're uh, everybody. Are we? Is, are we? Uh, are we stealthing over there? Are we taking the easy way out? All right. All right. Uh, yeah, you've been. All right. Let me. Uh, let me see what's going on. Hopefully, you guys don't meet anybody. All right. You guys look like you. How many shadow clones do you have? <laughs> and then there's my good friend Donnie, Clarence. I'm, I'm All right, he's gonna stay off to the side then for now. Yeah, but yeah, you guys made it. You made it to Janarak's side and to his tent, and seems good. Fair. Make a reflex roll. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I mean, if you just walked in, yeah. I mean, there's a tent. Ah, yeah, you dodged it. It was just like an arrow trap. Nah, I mean, you could always yell. Yo, what it do? Where you been? Didn't I just send you out like 10 minutes ago or some shit? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. At which... At which point this guy just shows up like, yo. Lots of perception checks. Uh, but he said, uh, well then, that's, you know, confirms my suspicions. At least, po mostly. I have to say... Did you happen to see a room with uncountable numbers of books in there? He says with like a greedy sheen in his eye. Hmm. What kind of clerical garb? Can you describe it a little more in detail? Did he wear full plate ruin? What kind of mace? Was it a ruined mace? Hmm. 
It must have been him! Only he would do such a thing after death. Fucking prick. Surely it must be him! The foul smell gives him away. You just see him kind of like spinning in circles. Make a perception check. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a moment. Okay. Uh, all right, give me one moment for that. Everybody. Uh, I was gonna say dexterity save, but if you want, you could do a perception check. I won't stop you. Alrighty, so uh, you hear something behind you roar out in flame as a cone of flame shoots upwards at you. Uh, you use your dexterity and are able to take half damage, uh, which is, or you seem to take half damage. Is it G? Oh, it's G, Emerald. So, you you feel as if you take 11 damage. If this feeling sends you over your damage limit, you pass out. Well, then you're technically, like, incapacitated. You're not unconscious. When you're... Yup. Oh, man. You didn't need to yet. This will actually take a place of that, though, so you probably also pass out. And Clarence, ah, oh shit! You just reminded me he's there. Damn it, Clarence! Why don't you? He never rolls well either. Clarence takes 15 damage and passes out. Catharis, however, is a boost and has taken zero damage. So he's just like, son of a bitch, it burns! It fucking burns! Now nah, you're in there, maybe, kinda. Now make a perception roll. <laughs> I know, I understand that. I understand that. Go, but go ahead and make your perception roll. So, uh, you wake up 
realizing that you haven't actually taken any damage from that attack. Your subconscious tells you you have not taken any damage from that attack. Yep. Not Donnie, though. He failed. Yeah, you did. Janorak's just like staring at you like I'm crazy. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You all just fell over. Impossible. I mean, it's not impossible. I just don't know if it's possible. You have still haven't told me what you've seen! You know what? I, I'm gonna ask this chick. And he literally just puts his hands on Florence and resurrects her. You also see a big pile of money behind him just disappear. He's like, you better be worth it. I mean, that's why I sent you. And he just interrupts you. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say that in this room, everything you picked up went back where you put it? You shouldn't have been there. Also, you, lady on the ground, get up! And he, like, literally kicks Florence, causing one damage. At which point you just see Katharis go, who the f is this? Oh, okay. Wait, who the fuck are you? Ooh, nice. Super nice. For sure. I mean, you, you don't actually have to tell him. You just gotta tell him you told him. Because I obviously know what you went through. Alright. Because before you're just like, this place is all fucked up. It's like, what? I mean, you, you could be talking about a public... He's gonna be like... He's just gonna be like, I mean, kudos for the ruthlessness, but I don't really see the point. But I mean... Yeah, I guess. If they stole from me, I'd stab them in the throat. <laughs> yeah, there's probably still some on your neck. At which point, at which point, Janorak is like, uh, one of you said you were cursed, right? Or something? And, and he points at, uh, he points at fucking Catharis, and he points at, uh, Zuva, who has been hiding and playing behind Catharis' back basically this whole time.
I feel like that's very in character. <laughs> you know what I mean. I love it because Michael latched down to the one piece of joke I actually gave him. I intentionally had Jedrak do that so that if anyone referenced that, they could be like, well, he did it. Dun dun dun! What do you mean? <laughs> to be fair, I was asking for it. Well, to be fair, he probably got it. He probably got it all out of his system. Ra racism against magic users. Dun dun dun. <laughs> just looking at butterflies. Just it's character classism. Just my heart. Dun, dun, dun. I mean... <laughs> you just hear Cathar... Catharsis just... Tharsis just goes, are you guys, are you guys talking about his penis? Oh, okay, I thought it was a metaphor. Oh shit, that's what a metaphor is? I thought it was like a Power Ranger or something. You are stupid. Wait, that's your name? Oh, cool. It's nice to meet you, stupid. My name is Catharis Thispliss. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, sure, what's up? Uh, it... Uh, you know, i <laughs> I think he said after potion. <laughs> yeah, he did say after potion. He's like, you can punch me as many times as you want after potion. 
<laughs> Catharsis is just gonna be like, you know, uh, healing's not really my thing. He looks back to the demons, and this one over here just like shrugs, and this one's like, hmm, hmm. And he just like opens a trench coat with like 20 healing potions inside of it. He gives you a. <laughs> He's he's just like giving awkward glares, and even he's looking at the J- Janarak all funny. Even he's just like, mm. he's like, look, I know those th- those are yours. All right, Philip, I know those healing potions belong to you. Can I borrow some? God damn it, Philip! Stop being a jerk. I lent you my Toronto to go to fucking Toronto. Hmm. Hey, you guys got those glasses? Well, I sent I, I sent off a bunch of people with glasses and a disguise, you know, or some sticks. Hmm? Yeah. That or just suddenly contract amnesia. I'm fine with either, but <laughs> you're gonna have to deal with that amnesia later. Up to you. <laughs> huh. Uh, and he he takes a look at him, he's like, uh, I don't, know, I don't know what you're talking about. They look real to me. Puts them, he puts them on and tries to convince you you're a platypus. He rolled a 25. Yeah. Well, with the glasses. <laughs> with the glasses. It's like... It, it's like... I mean, that's, uh, I don't think he has. You, you might have to take the initiative on these punches if you really want them before the heal. <laughs> well, that, those, uh, those are uh, going to be, I guess, an initiative roll and attack roll for an unarmed strike. Technically, yeah. <laughs> I have to, though. I don't want to. He absolutely deserves it. <laughs> but I have to. I feel like not murdering someone is less of a favor and more of a, you know, non-action to <laughs> It's like, I could have totally murdered you right there. I mean, cool. Alright, what did what did we get from McLaren? Okay, so that looks like it's Michael first, then Florence, and then Carly. Uh 
Oh, I guess he hadn't done. Uh, go ahead and I mean, wasn't even. What even is the resistance to persuasion? I forget. Isn't it? Yeah, I think you're right. Well, no, insights for deception. Uh, counter to persuasion. Because. Oh, in. I guess so. Oh yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Even in, in contests between players, you can never make another player do something they don't want to unless you use a fucking spell or something, basically. But as far as persuasion, you can, like, make them think this, that doesn't necessarily mean they'll act the way you want them to act, right? So you could persuade them, like, that they should, you know, get to punch you, but you might decide, well, yeah, you get, like, three little punches on my tummy. Right? I mean, this is one of those things. It's like, you can try and persuade, but really, it's, it's just an attempt. Persu persuasion's more for NPCs. And even then, NPCs that are just, like... You know, you come up to the guard shack and you're like, hey, let me bang your wife in your guard shack. It's probably going to be a hard roll and a hard no, unless you are the sexiest bard in existence. Fair. Uh, but yeah, I guess it is. I mean, because I'm not finding any info, I guess it is contested by Insight, because there is nothing else to contest it with. There used to be other stuff in 3.5. But, you know. Yeah, so like, for this is a good example. It's like, your massive bonus on social skills doesn't mean you can convince an NPC to do everything. No matter how well you ask a wizard to hand you his spell book whenever you please, he's going to say no. And no matter how flattening you sound, the Lord is not going to give you, your ca give you his castle for free. It's like, those are just like, not going to happen. Uh, I think we need you to do the... It is, in fact, an insight check, which I didn't think it would be, but I guess. Weird. Yeah, then... Uh, no, you can offer assistance, technically, to a roll. I figure that was what would be what happened, but hey, you were searching for the twenty, which basically cancel each other out. Even if they're, even if she could convince you, it would be canceled out one. Uh, I mean, she seems to have really good points and persuasive. She's making good sense, and you totally agree, but you just don't really want to be get punched. <laughs> it's like if I if I get, if I take one more hit, I'm going to die. Literally one more hit. And uh, and I I want to say I feel like I've given you a ample amount of time. I feel like I've been I've held back really hard. I really have. I'm telling you, you might not believe me, but I have. And I know you don't want to hear this. I know you really don't want to hear this. Make make a perception roll. Hey, everybody. Hey. Uh, yes. Let me make a roll. Uh, nothing. Uh, Michael, you remember that thing you had to do earlier when you rolled the 20 on perception? Hey, I'll repost it. Eh. 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 Eh, I gotta go so far up. Yeah, but you only hit 20 one time before now. 
Yeah, 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 mister doesn't remember sh Hey! And Generac comes back here, he grabs a potion from Philip. Thanks, Philip. Greedy bastard. Shut the fuck up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he comes back and he hands it to you. And it is a. Let's see which one is it? I think it's gonna be a greater health potion, but I wanna make sure. Yeah. So it is indeed a greater healing potion, which means 44 plus four, four to the four. Uh, indeed. And that is Janarek's turn because he ruled the highest initiative, which it was low. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, then it's Wedge, then it's uh, Florence, then it's actually Catharsis, and then it's you. It's like I mean, you can. I think it's pers persuasion, because I don't think it's technically a lie. Hmm. I mean... Oh, well then. Yeah, that's a little bit higher there. So, I mean, yeah, no, Florence, Florence, you know, kind of believes you pretty well, you know, thinks that, you know, it was something else. That, that, I don't know how that affects her decision as a character, but that's, that's the way it is. Generic's just like, you guys are silly as fuck. I'm just gonna watch you spin in circles.
Yeah, unfortunately, Clarence hopped out of your arms. And he came up here, and he went quack. Quack. At which point, uh, Catharsis is gonna be look over and he's like, what do you mean? Donnie can't speak anything but duck. Quack, 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 quack. Donnie, he is a master of the undead arcane arts. I don't think he appreciates you quacking at him. Quack. Well, you too, Donnie. Quack. Donnie, violence against the system has never helped anyone. Quack. Donnie! Get the f back in your spot. Quack. What do you mean, get back in my spot? And Donnie comes back, clearly frustrated and quacking. Quack. Quack. His top head's slightly skewed to the side. Pulls out hammer, just yeah. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Just well, yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Oh lord. The Janerick's like, give him over here, and I want some too. Philip's like, let me get some too. Yeah, sure. Hey, sweet. He, he passes, Philip passes you a small healing potion. He's like, yeah, I like Pop Rocks. At which point, uh, Daniel, who is the other one, is like, gay. Shut up, Daniel. I just have a feeling this is going to go badly, but I'm okay with that. Especially because this is about where we're going to have to end the episode at these th three swings. Oh, goodness. What is this? Ugh. Just use Mage Hand. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> yeah, but it can be used to, like, ridicule. Pull. Just like give him a wet willy with Mage Hand. It's a huge hand to get a wet willy. Alrighty, that will count as your secondary action then, since you would have had to use one to use the healing potion. Is it? It might be. I thought it was a full action to use a potion. Yeah, me either. Oh, what? I want it to be known that I very much considered using vicious mockery. At the same time, I'm disconnected. I'm not going to do that. Give me a moment.
Uh, so, here's something to remind you of. Find Familiar has a duration of instantaneous, but the effect of the spell happens once, and they can't be dispelled or naturally run out. And there is no clause saying a Familiar's existence depends on their caster. It remains in existence for however long it manages to stay alive. Which I didn't know either. I figured that if uh, a spellcaster died, that their familiar would die with them. Right. Well, once again, the difference between like find familiar and su a summoned animal is a summoned animal is kept on the summoning plane by the spell tether, but a familiar is. From what I understand, you find a familiar. You don't create a familiar, right? Yeah, so f familiar is just an animal that you grant and bestow power, basically. And form a connection. So... I, you know, Ursul's doing whatever Ursul's doing. I, I can't control Ursul's problems in life. Oh, uh, yep, yep, that's fine. Yeah, I see which. Uh, I figured that was uh, what you were doing. You also get your bus one bonus to your attack and damage rolls. I mean, he's he basically set you to do what you're doing. So I mean, there's there's no real resistance. He he probably wouldn't get his dex bonus. He's not trying to dodge these attacks. So I mean, they're gonna theoretically, unless you roll like really badly, these are gonna be hits. I think I think it'll be fine. I don't even think you can get as much damage as he got healing from that potion. So. Because it was a decent sized potion. So, uh, uh, you know, let loose. So, pretty much, except for maybe that eight. Yeah. Even without his dex bonus, you just won't get past his armor. Even with your plus one to your uh, bonus. That's still only a nine, doesn't reach the minimum required uh, 10 AC of a. No, it so essentially Yes, if you were you have a 14 AC if you are combat ready. If you're willing to take a strike, you don't get to add in your dex modifier at all. You only get your natural armor bonuses, which still might be, but No. Uh no, you should get it on certain parts, but it wouldn't be once again, full. It would be like wearing it, so you'd be at what, 12 with the plus 2 or 3? Yeah, I mean, you'd still be out of range, and so the, it does count for the. It does count for that, but once again, once you take away the DC for the thing, but regardless, the second, the second hit basically hits the leather and bounces off. That's what the. So when, for Carly, to explain to Carly, when you roll an attack against armor class, it considers basically two of three things. It considers the armor you're wearing and then your dexterity, unless you're flat-footed, in which case it doesn't count in your dexterity. Yeah. Which, there, there's a lot of little, little different ones. Oh, uh, no. You'd have to do something strategically to help the attack, like... So, an example, in battle of helping someone, you would distract the enemy, right? Put them off guard or make them flat-footed or like throw a rock at them so they're not paying attention and that would help the attack to go through. But Wedge is willing already to take the attack. He's not trying to dodge and he's not trying to resist. So the the simple point of being is like if you don't hit the high enough armor class, you're just not doing enough ar damage to pierce leather armor. It's, it, it's unfortunate. I mean, he's still got two good hits in. Those are definitely good hits. Uh, and you can obviously roll damage for those.
Uh, it, sh it should be plus one to both of those, so it should be 11. Yep. There you go. This wasn't a witch bolt. I know you can't use witch bolt. I'm just making the joke of, you know, more witch bolts against wedge. She's stealthed. She just stealths around all the time and she's back on Wedge's shoulder now. That's the thing, she's like a cursed doll. Like, she doesn't do good things for you, but she'll always come back. Loyalty. That's why loyalty isn't everything. <laughs> and I think. I mean, uh, depends on how good your passive perception is. You can roll an active... I feel like that one should be allowed to roll an active perception for someone climbing on you. See if you can beat the roll. That is true. You might. You may have to take disadvantage on that since you did just get uh, attacked. Oh, that's a 17. Diffie, what was your roll? Oh, was it in the... Well, there you go. She has really good stealth stats. And apparently only rolls good for stealth. She... You have no idea, Michael. She rolled like 10 times to steal your arrows. She kept rolling the stealth good, but she could not steal your arrows. It was hilarious. Ah. Hashtag. <laughs> I think it's about bedtime. I also love that, uh, and I know it's because in real life, obviously, they're not here. No one gives a shit about La Vista. <laughs> Just gone. She's gone. <laughs> she was gone. <laughs> like, I un and I understand because there's always I do it on purpose because there's always so much going on the room fills with fucking clouds and you're getting hit with a perception check every five seconds and <laughs> yep which once again I know is mostly because obviously they aren't here today to actually play so it was you know it's out of sight out of mind but it's once again goes back to the whole Leroy the uh, transgender boy made of, wait a minute, what were we talking about last time? What about the giant transsexual barmaid in the room? I mean, elephant in the room. I mean, the regular elephant in the room. It's all good. I I don't, I think people are still only one person actually knows what's going on because they got spoiled kind of, and that wasn't necessarily their fault, but it happened. But I think that's an interest. It's, once again, I don't think anybody had a real clue about what was going on before it went down. There were there were some people who had ideas, but the actual reality of what is going on, I don't think most people know what's going on still. You're gonna have to find Ursula at the least.
but I didn't kill him. <laughs> I want my third hit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, he gave you that third hit. You wasted it. <laughs> oh my god, I bet I've been streamed to the wrong place today. Fuck, that would suck. It was, and there were. It was fair. What it wasn't uh, equal, but it was fair. <laughs> yeah, I think you got two hits. <laughs> your happiness is irrelevant. Go pinch a baby if you want your third hit. You missed. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Well, that's your accidental right. <laughs> having having said that, I'm gonna make the assumption we uh, we make the dangerous trip back to the house again for the fifteenth time. Okay. He, he takes the glasses off and puts on his anime glasses. What glasses? <laughs> All right. He pulls them back out and throws them at you casually. He's like, he's like, well, what weapon do you want, crazy water elf? Whatever. Catharsis is like, she is a blue person. Ba -ba At which point Donnie begins to hum that, you know, song tune. In quacks, though. Quack, 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 qu
Yeah, it doesn't make you any less evil. Just less stupid. I kept trying it on goddamn Philip. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, but if you want the bat... At which point, Catharis just speaks out and is just like, Are you made of salt? Ta da. G Generac basically just does a, does a fucking facepalm. He's like, How did you even get into that tent? You guys don't even seem smart enough to get off of this tent. Do you do you want the bat? It might help. He's like, I can go get it right now. You sure? All right. Oh. Uh. Huh. Hmm. You might have to come back for that. You might have to look around. Philip probably had one, but he probably fucked it up. Why do you blame me for everything? Because your name's Philip. Get the fuck out of my tent. <laughs> I mean, that's between you two. I would quite enjoy it. Bring the Pop Rocks again. Said everybody gets one resurrection. If I feel like it. Sometimes. Maybe. Yep. You got one and he used it for all of you. <laughs> I can't remember what that's from, but yeah. It's like, everybody got one and you fucked it up for all of us. But he's like, yes, that's, uh, yeah, that's the one. Sorry. I mean, you could do some favors and earn another one, I guess. I don't think I would. Philip's like, I would like a hug. At which, at which point, uh, Daniel's like, Philip, fucking gay. Uh, he gives a very nice, warm hug. And he, he whispers in your ears, Fly, you fools. Yeah. Thought I could try. And before you can even do it, uh, Catharis just comes up with a stick. Is this stick magic? You try to, but uh, the the stick is an anti magic stick. It, I got the magic stick. It's, it's actually just an anti mage hand stick. That's like it doesn't do any other magic. And I know you're gonna hate me, but it's the last one of the night, I promise. Because we're ending right after this, but roll and perception check. Ha ha! Different actions of stealth. Oh, 19. Well, per uh, it's perception, but if it's only if you're in the tent at the moment. Yeah. 
Ah. You're and uh, you're having him examine the what? The cloak or the? Oh, the thing! Oh yeah, he's like, oh yeah, this, this right here. That's a human soul. Do you need that? I'd very much like to have that. Look, I don't know what in there is, uh, or where this was. If you if you could tell me, I'd def definitely go there and try to find more. You know how hard it is to compress a human soul into a ball? Is it now? <laughs> His eyes just squint a little bit. All right, then. I see how we're playing this. Two, two magic sticks. <laughs> I mean, for you, probably nothing. I mean, I guess if I knew where the body was. But yeah, he's, he's just said, yeah, that's uh, that's a human soul right there. I mean, uh, are you an evil magician? So, so usually, just usually, uh, the the souls of you know, people are used by necromancers to power things, fuel things, uh, you know, create undead. There's there's many uses, honestly, for the soul of human beings for a evil sorcerer. Uh, for a good sorcerer, I'm not so sure. You'd have to ask a good magic user. Like Zarathos. Crazy bastard. Crazy dead bastard. Um, I'm, and he stretches in two dimensions. No. Uh, he comes back up and he's, he's like, ah, I guess I'll give it a try. Ah, yes. Spear. Let's see now. So, uh, this spear that you hold is the spear tree. When you speak the spear tree's command word before hurling at a target within 120 feet, the spear will drop its acorns in a 20-foot radius of where it landed, and each of these in acorns instantaneously grows into a spear from the ground up. Every creature in a 20-foot radius must make a DC 13 strength saving throw. That doesn't seem right. Or... Yeah, must make it decent. I don't know why that would be strength, but anyway, 44 piercing damage and must be restrained for a minute. A creature restrained by the spears can use its action to retake its save. Here, I'll uh, give you this. This is a little bit easier.
But yeah, that's the spear tree. As far as uh, the person who sold this belongs to, I couldn't tell you. It, it seems to be glowing with holy energy or something, but I don't know who it belongs to. Who the f is Zathros? Oh, yeah. yeah At which point, Katharis just screams out, Who the hell is Zathros? And Zarathos. You know, uh, you know Catharsis is just like oh, I found a body once oh, It was right over here And there's like a body in the corner of the room Yeah, that's a roll That's also a roll I don't think I don't think the corpse can recognize <laughs> Holy shit it does Now it's like No, it does not. I mean, that's up to your guessing character if you think they're smart enough to come to some conclusions. Uh, Janorak's like, honestly, that soul is damn near perfect for my experiments. It That sounds like a good plan. Philip, write it down in the write it down in the planner. Set it for Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, wedge is not in the kit tent. Which, by extension, means that uh, a certain someone else is also not in the tent. Yeah. Uh, I mean... Probably not. I mean, you guys don't really deal with that kind of stuff yet, or even in some of your preferred classes, so it just wouldn't be within your general realm of knowledge, most likely. Yeah, she didn't roll good on intelligence, so... She don't know. <laughs> that is up to you. I always go with if my character seems to know or seems smart enough to know or has seen the signs, then I can justify it. You know what I mean? Depending on how smart my character is. So, for example, yeah, Jewel, uh, Jewel's character has like a plus four intelligence, so... She rolled pretty bad to get a knot. You know what I mean? Not undergo things. Although, probably wouldn't have been in her will house anyway. But, in general, she's, she, you know, she's pretty smart. So you should be fine.
ha, ha. You didn't ask. It's like. <laughs> Hey, hope hope is uh, something that some people have. I like logic. <laughs> I mean, out of character. Ooh. I mean, out of character. I mean, out of character. Wise, think about it. He does major on Brenda's late song. Speaking of, uh, it is now 9:15, so I think it's about time we let Diffie go and yeah. end the recording. I'm gonna cap it. <laughs>